stunning sunshine, a beautiful way to end the tour of Catalonia, but everyone's minds ice cold for the task ahead. Primus Roglic, a man in charge by a margin of 10 seconds from Remco Evenepoel, and of course, attacks would rain down. Let us wait and see. It all came to the final circuit, as it always does. Montjuic, six laps of the great circuit, each just under eight kilometers in length, but with climbs, high-speed descents, technical corners, it had absolutely everything you could possibly want for a grand finale. Time to go racing then, 135.8 kilometers. LED with a mountain at the beginning, more or less. It drew a great breakaway and a super one we had. Ethan Hayter from Ineos Grenadiers, Carapaz and Simon Carr from Education Easy Post, Carlos Verona and Jeffrey Bouchard would have been many people's pick to be in a break. They were both up there for Movistar and AG2R. Confidis, Jaco with Gourmet and Guillaume Martin looking for King of the Mountains points. David De La Cruz and Biscaro are also there for Astana and Oscar Tell. Well, the break did indeed reach the circuit first, but the gap was a very modest one, mainly down to the drive that Sudo Quickstep had imposed. It was having a huge wearing effect on those who were in their wake, and a wake-up call for anyone that thought this day would be easy. No chance. Always dramatic. Often we get surprises. In the last nine editions, five times we've had breakaway victory. Would it be the same this time by? Well, the original break was wound in one after the other. Last roll of the dice was David de la Cruz. And as the laps counted down, so did it to launch for Sudo Quickstep and Remco Evenepoel. His teammates were shredded one after the other. And in the end, he knew that if he was going to help, he had to help himself. And away he went. But of course, on his wheel, Primus Roglic, the pair of them shot off and in their wake, Marc Soler. It's been the same story for much of this race. And with just under 26 kilometers to go, the arguments began. Come on, let's do some work together. No, said Primoz. Not yet, anyway. The chase fully engaged by Bora Hansgrohe, but it was always going to be for minor places because lap after lap, the gap still held. Well, as Carapaz had tried early on for EF Education Easy Post, the Ecuadorian champion tagged the Colombian champion Chavez had a dig and so did this pair once again Mountain's points were going their way and poor old Guillaume Martin had been in the break was to lose the jersey but which one of that pair would take the Mountain's points necessary to win well all jerseys were ultimately about to be shared between Evanapol and Primus Roglic we were thinking about podium places and so were UE Team Emirates Mark Soler was up the road, but Shao Almeida was closing the gap, helped by Adam Yates. Lack of team cohesion perhaps within UE Team Emirates. But the real story was out front, and it had been for much of the race. What a pairing this had turned out to be. And in the end, when the line beckoned, it looked not exactly a gift, but certainly even Stevens between the pair of them. Two stage wins apiece. Remco Evenepoel takes the final stage. We waited to see if Marc Soler had indeed been caught by his own teammate, João Almeida, the Portuguese. Soler finished the day in third place. His teammate, João Almeida, the youngster from Portugal, on the podium. Soler, a brave fourth place, finishing in front of Mikkel Lander in the overall classification. What an amazing race this turned out to be. Corbin Strong was strong for Israel Premier Tech at the last. Our champion is Primoz Roglic. What a guy, what a race. And after Tirano, he looks absolutely unbeatable. Remco Evenepoel asked if he could have expected more. He said, well, with Primoz Roglic in the house, you have to be content. Evenepoel takes the final stage to make it two stage wins for him. He also gets the Mountains jersey and the Young Riders classification. Yes, the uh, orange ribbons belonging to Evenepoel. No shame in that. Overall, though, Primus Roglic takes points and, of course, the GC. And a great deal of confidence going forward to the Giro. Six seconds, the gap between the pair of them. Almeida, two minutes 11 down. Mark Soler, absolutely where he needed to be. 
and Catalonia is where you need to be for great racing. It was, wasn't it? Super enjoyable. We'll see you next time.